All right, in the bottom left, playing as Dark Mercy. Oh, not Dark Elodie, we have Zoranix. And in the top right, playing as Valdar, we have Go7. So this is a format that allows people to play different commanders because of the bands. So yeah, Go7 being pretty smart, I would say, in banning. And clearly banning Volder off of Zoranix. And Zoranix going Elodie, which is a very interesting choice. I think as the meta has progressed, like people have gotten better with El Elodie, so maybe Zero has like figured something out here. Has a lot of faith in Elodie on this map. Interesting, this sword isn't gonna go and contest this village in the corner. In fact, neither player are going to go for that option. And wow, Elodie gets that heal off. Looking pretty good. And yeah, this sword here is going to be able to grab that village, so. Yeah, makes sense. And ooh. We're going to see Valder get a hit. On that sword, which means, you know, he's going to have his own sword soon. Elodie. Knocks down this village, gets the capture, and this could actually be a very short game one. Zero has pushed pretty far across this map, but ooh, that's a really nice sword crit. Really good here positioning here from Go7. Nice use of the archer. Rise from Generally you don't see archers this early. They do have a little bit of a weak spot in the early game. But no, we're going to see it come out. And wow, there's a golem up for zero. So Valder is going to have a lot of trouble on this right hand side. And yeah, zero is just getting spear balloon up. Wants to reinforce here. And yeah, he's got everything he needs. So looking pretty good. But oh, we're actually seeing Valder already with a second groove. So he's looking to be in like a decent position. Harpy comes out. There's a mage right there. So I don't know. Okay, Elodie walks up. A couple things go down. Archer is still up actually, so we could very well see the mage go down and the harpy be quite a nuisance actually. Alright, how's this gonna go? Sword hit comes in. Ooh, nice clear with the harpy. And yeah, this is looking pretty good actually. Big crit coming in here. Are we gonna see the mage go forward and finish off that knight? Yep, gets the kill. And Go7 builds another archer. So going for this kind of like harpy archer wall. There's a little bit behind on economy because yeah, like this village has been a bit of a nuisance, but. Is it working out? And oh. LOD has groove. Right, what are we going to see here for the follow-up? LD having Groove is like a huge issue. Oh, we're going to try, try to see a lethal attempt? Alright, Seconds comes in. Oh, I think that's a Night Crit. Oh no, it doesn't quite get the kill. That was a really good setup as well, but unfortunately, just not quite enough. And I think Zero is fine although there aren't really too many places to heal like this village over here okay i guess elodie's fine there isn't too much of a follow-up here and yeah second goal i'm coming forward and yeah elodie all elodie has to do is escape the rest of this army is kind of beaten up And what can Go7 do? I mean, 
The witch isn't going to do too much. Archer crits are quite nice. They're going to chunk that golem. But at this point, Zero just has way bigger of an army. Has this forward village that so has the economy lead. And yeah, Elodie having grew up is huge as well. Nothing can really go in range of her. Big mage heal comes in. Probably would have liked to have seen Elodie move first before the mage heal, but... Oh, well, it's only 7%. It's a small optimization. And Zero wisely backing up, actually. There's no real need for him to move forward, so... Yeah, he's not going to. And go seven at this point. He's kind of cornered. I don't think there's much more he can do. Zero can just kind of safely pick off villages on the sides. And kind of trade into the center. He's got double golem, so... He's going to be able to do a lot of really good work here. And honestly, he could just sit on the lead. Archer comes out now. Even seeing the heal on the dog. Okay, but go seven, you know, gonna make zero work for it. Double witch. And this is really... I would say the thing that... A lot of experienced players do is they will... When they're behind, they're just like, I'm just going to grab a bunch of units that can potentially get lethals. Uh, but Zero isn't going to fall for it. Zero probably just going to back up with LED even. Yeah, it doesn't even like leave her on the mountain where it's actually a little bit vulnerable. Just puts her safely behind it. Night crits lined up on that village on the right. And at this point, Zero all... He has to do is just keep going for economy. Go seven, actually quite far behind on time. We're gonna see hexes try and kill these golems. Oh, the hex. Ooh, so because of the way terrain defense works, uh, I guess it didn't matter in the end, but still kind of annoying. Okay, both golems getting cleared up. So Go7 actually managing to do like some decent work there. But I think that Zero's counter attack here is going to be absolutely devastating. First Knight goes down. Big Mage Heal comes in. Which comes in for that pick off of the Harpy. And yeah, we're just going to see more and more stuff get killed. Even steals a Witch. <laughs> And goes for his own big hex. Oh, and picks off the enemy witch. That's huge. And I don't, there's no anti-air here, really. So, yeah, this balloon, this witch, and this witch are just a complete wall at the moment. Even pecks away with an archer at Valder. And yeah, zero is up by like 17 minutes on the clock right now. Let's see, 27 minutes against 10, yeah. 17 minutes. And what can Go7 do? Well, that wasn't going to kill that knight, so. I guess just going to keep going for it. Hits Elodie. Don't quite know why, but sure, why not? Another witch hex comes in and Zero's got the economy just to spam these. And I think Valder just dies at this point. Yeah, the spear doesn't get that kill, but it doesn't really matter. Knight comes in. Big heal comes in. And yeah, Valder goes down. And Zero very convincingly takes game one. 26 to 9 kills. I will say, Go7, despite being super far behind, did put up a decent fight, but... Nah, Zero just looked very dominant there. Pretty much straight away from the get-go. But... 
yeah, really nicely played. We're going to take a look at the stats, uh, which I need to give a quick refresh. I'll do that now. And just look at that army value graph. Zero just kind of skyrocketing there. And that income graph as well. Zero just had the lead. Ghost 7 actually did put it back a little bit. Um, but yeah, someone in chat pointing out there was an RNG lethal that failed as well. So Zero could have gone down. Um, played very risky there. And Ghost 7 went for it and didn't get it. So. Alas, it is what it is. And Zero able to just kind of pull back and play safely after that point. Yeah, combat unit came. Slight lead in the early game as Voldo tends to get and then just a, like, a massive dip at the end. So, yeah, well played. Zero takes game one.